Hi, I am Kimbo and I blog at agirlandglugan.com and today I'm going to give you a tour of my craft room. I personally love looking at people's craft rooms. I love to see how they organize stuff. I love to see that the craft supplies that they carry. It's super fun. So I thought maybe you guys would like to sneak peek what's in my drawers, what's on my shelves, what's in my mess of a closet. If you've been here for a while, you might have already noticed I have a craft room tour on my YouTube channel already. Um, we had a fire. So I got to recreate craft room 2.0. There's a lot of things that are different than the first craft room. There's a couple things that really worked for the first craft room that I've kept, but for the majority of it, it's changed. I'm gonna hold the camera so hopefully it is not too bouncy for you, but it's just a little bit easier to be able to zoom in and out of the things I wanna show you. So when you walk in, this is what you face. I've got my door. My daughter made me a cute sign. I usually don't shut my craft room door, so if it shuts, it usually means I'm filming a video, so please don't interrupt. And then my daughter drew me this, and I had to frame it. It's got lots of little cute craft things in there. You can see a paint palette, measuring tape, stuff like that. So that's on the back. Um, these shelves were actually in my last craft room right there in the same spot. I had I bought a wire hanger to put my paint in right there. And I only held about 20 things of paint, and so I immediately realized that I'm going to put these back up. They're just little two pieces of wood. Obviously, I painted them really good. Not that no one really sees this section of it, because like I said, my door's never closed. But it just holds all my paint. Um, a mini sombrero. We've got glitter. We've got the gloss enamel paints. We've got sprinkles and eyeballs and paper clips. Uh, Mod Podge. More paint. Lots, lots of odds the little ends. Um, also right behind here is, this is where um, I stage my photos. So these are all my flat lay pieces of cardboard. There's lots of different colors. And then these are paper rolls that I got from Hobby Lobby. You can find them online as well. Um, they're for like bulletin boards. That's the section of Hobby Lobby that they're in. But I attached an Ikea picture hanger up there and it's got the little hooks on it, so whatever color I want to use, I just clip it up and then I can take photos in front of it. Um, so that's been really nice. I am actually going to be painting this wall. I was trying to leave it white because I wanted a white backdrop for some of my photos, but I never use the white. So I'm going to paint it a fun color so I can take this down because I like the rainbow look. So I've got paint samples over here that I've been looking through. So these just sit in a big bucket. They're just rolled up um, with some giant scissors. I have a lot of random things. Like, they all have a sentimental value, and so I just decorated my craft room with them. So let's just acknowledge that right away. <laughs> um, cute rug I got from Rugs USA. It's super, super fluffy, so I love having that as a colorful backdrop. My friends gave me this. You will notice that there is a reoccurring theme of flamingos in this craft room. I love flamingos, and so... Those are my friends, and they found this picture, and there's one for each of us, except for Crystal, who hates flamingos. So it turned out perfect. Um, see, more of those are salt and pepper shakers. Right here is my, let me make sure I don't get in the window. This is my pressing station for, my ironing station for heat transfer vinyl. I wanted a place, like I, last craft room, I had, my ironing board and I have to prop it up and prop it down and so I really wanted a place that just stayed so anytime I'm doing um, a heat transfer vinyl I can just go over there and press it so I actually didn't purchase an ironing board after the fire this is what I use this is my grandma's old singer table and I used to have my sewing machine on it um, last craft room but instead I built it's wood 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 and then I covered it with padding and then I covered it with fabric and so I can press on it um, so I have a couple Cricut easy presses the big one the small one plus an iron so they all just sit up there there used to be scissors and pins and all sorts of little odds and ends that help me press so that's the this is the pressing mat that goes with it and then there is a multi-purpose sheet there too so this is just kind of where I do my heat transfer vinyl. And then I've got my big window, so usually if I'm taking photos, flat lay photos, I'm right here trying to get the best light. And in the window are lots of little projects that we've made. Of course I'm going to have some horrible window glare. Just 
Got an office sign. Another flamingo. We just made this yesterday. It's a spinning rainbow mobile. Cute, huh? Okay, so now we've made it to my favorite wall. When I was planning my craft room, I drew this up almost exactly. I'll have to find the picture for you, but this is exactly what I wanted. I want everything out on display. I'm a visual person, so if I forget that I have buttons or pom-poms or something, then I won't use them. And so um, I wanted this open shelving, really colorful, obviously. So I painted, the paint color's called Rock Bottom. I wanted a really dark paint that just makes the color pop. So we're just gonna start over here. Oh, let me talk about the dressers really quickly. These are all from Ikea. So this is a filing cabinet. Um, I think these are called the Alex drawers. And then this one over here is, it's not a filing cabinet, it's just drawers all the way down. Let me be, tell you really quickly about the filing cabinet. It doesn't come out. <laughs> it needs like a hard surface to come out on the carpet grabs it. I can get it out. I usually just slide, um, anytime I make extra printables, I slide them in there. And so don't recommend this unless you're putting it on a smooth surface and not carpeted. Um, my flamingo chairs. I love them. I got them from World Market, I believe. There is garbage cans and then my cutting mats down there. I wanted um, everything to have a place, so that's just on a command hook. I've got garbage cans on both sides. I originally thought I would drill a hole so I could swipe my garbage in, but I realized I would totally lose craft supplies <laughs> accidentally down that hole, so I didn't do that. And then the cute rug, it is a Novogratz rug I found at Home Depot. I'll have to find a link for you here in a little bit. Um, so this is my sewing station first. My sewing machine just sits out. I've covered it with some cute expressions vinyl. Um, over here is my thread. And then I have another jar of thread. And then I've got some glue adhesive and stuff. Um, my rotaries down over here is pins, measuring tapes. This one is, um, uh, elastic and I'm trying to remember the name for this velcro spaced it and then these are all beads my grandma um, had this great crazy beads um, collection and I got to inherit all of it so it's really fun and then like I said that's the file cabinet up here is where I keep my receipts it's not super fun but blogging is what I do for a business so I've got a get my expenses for taxes. This is a quilt I will never make. <laughs> um, this has my Crayola markers, this has my Sculpey, this has my um, some lettering markers, Sharpies, colored pencils. My daughter actually drew that. And that up in art class and I just thought it was so cool. Um, in here there's a bunch of sewing notions, there's little hooks and latch eyes and stuff like that in the little drawers. This was also my grandma's and I spray painted this and then I spray painted this. So they were just clear, clear drawers. You can actually see, I didn't spray paint them all the way. Um, clear drawers and then the outside was like a dark blue and this one was a middle. So power of spray paint guys, it changes the look of everything. Um, at the very top row are cookie jars. Um, and in the cookie jars are just so many random things. Uh, we've got zippers, Velcro, clothespins, adhesives, popsicle sticks, buttons, pom-poms. Um, that one's funny. It's old tins. <laughs> uh, you never know when you need them. Pom-poms, paint pens, lace. That's chipboard letters. These are props. Uh, the one with the pencils has props. See, there's candy corn and conversation hearts. Uh, sprinkles, it's more props for my flat lays. Pom-pom stamps. And then... Um, friendship bracelet stuff and birdie floss. So like I said, I love everything on display. Um, just decorations. Are you guys counting how many flamingos there are? Cause there's a lot. This was actually at the Dollar Tree. So you should grab one. Um, in here is my vinyl samples from Expressions Vinyl. So I can pick out what color of vinyl when I'm making my vinyl boxes. And then the top one is, um, embossing so my heat gun and then all the stuff for the embossings in there I've got yarn but I also have so much yarn in that 
Um, this is my paintbrushes and watercolors are up there. I've got some scrapbook paper and notebooks. This is all my glue gun stuff. I've got quite a few glue guns and all my glue sticks. I've got a few Instax cameras. And this one is mostly um, beading. It's got my pliers, my elastics. You saw the beads over in the drawer, but this has all of the crimp beads and stuff like that. There's keychains and, I don't know, there's a bunch of random things that I actually use quite a bit. Who knew? And then I love Color Shop. I love Color Shop because the bottles are so pretty. Like, the yellow is actually gone, but I won't throw it away because <laughs> it makes the pretty rainbow color. So, they have lots of really cool colors. They're found at Home Depot and maybe in the craft stores. I'm not quite sure, but I love them. And then here's my extra lens that I pop in and out depending on what I'm taping. Um, okay, these are Ikea. They're the Ikea's version of pegboards. They're obviously not circles, they're round. Um, I really like them. I spray painted one um, in my laundry room, a blush pink, so that is an option to spray paint it and make it custom. So I bought, like this is like a magazine holder, holds my um, Fisker's cutting mat. This is I put tape, you could put baker's twine or ribbon on it. You know, we've got hooks for hammers. It's got little trays, so I like, like I said, everything on display. I've got all my cute Fisker scissors, my ruler stuff. This is where I usually sit. I do push my sewing machine back if I'm not sewing and sometimes sit there. But this is when I'm doing vinyl or printing or anything, I usually sit here. So this is my most used station. It's got my pencils, my glue, my Sharpies, my scissors, my ruler. It's got a cutting mat down here. So um, this, is, this is usually where my butt resides. So if you see me on my Instagram stories, I'm usually sitting right there. I have two cameos. This is a three and this is a four. I need to decorate my four, so I kind of swap between. I'm more comfortable with my three, but I'm trying to teach, I'm trying to do some YouTube videos on the four, so I've been swapping in and out. That's why they're both sitting there, but I think I'll probably retire that one and put it up on my shelf for display because they're so cute. Uh, let's talk about what's in my drawers. Um, this one is all vinyl. Let's start with that one. This one, this is all my vinyl supplies. So I've got um, sketch pens, ink, there's extra transfer tape. This is a mini iron to put on like little tiny projects, extra blades, etc. tweezers, measuring tape, stuff like that. This one is adhesive that is glitter or shiny or chalkboard or, you know, like specialty. I have one pattern in there. The pattern must be down below. This is adhesive and it's just, well, maybe I've mixed them up a little bit. I've got pattern and then it was just supposed to be solid colors. So all of my um, vinyl is from Expressions Vinyl. They are the best and they have the cutest stuff. Look at that. Okay. This one is heat transfer glitter or holographic or flocked, which means it's fuzzy. And then this one should be smooth and pattern. So I'm somewhat organized and then this is rolls of vinyl that doesn't fit up. I do have rolls up there, but these are my other rolls that didn't fit in my rainbow. <laughs> if you notice, there is a lot of rainbow um, colored things. So the top of this is extra mats, transfer tape, etc. So just supplies. This one is super fun stuff that Silhouette sent me. It's got, I have tattoo paper in here, sticker paper. Um, let's just pull something out and see. That's tattoo paper, scratch off stickers. Lots and lots and lots of lots of awesome goodness. So whenever I'm like, I should make something and I don't even know what to make, I kind of come in here because it's just super, super inspiring. It doesn't look like it is, but it is. Uh, mint, this is a stamp machine. This is the ink for it. These are my stamps. It is super cool. It's made by Silhouette, but you don't have to have a Silhouette to do it. You just plug it in and then you can make your own stamps. So this whole drawer is devoted to it. I love my mint. Mink, <laughs> not to be confused with the mint. This is the foil. Um, it heats up 
the foil and makes it stick to inkjet printable stuff. Does that make sense? Do you guys know foil adhesive, but it's not adhesive? I'm not quite sure what it's called. But that's what it is. It's, this one's from Heidi Swap, and then the drawer down from it is all the beautiful foil that you put on it. Um, so I used to work with them um, as a blogger, like they would send me the supplies. So keep that in mind when you're thinking, holy crap, that's a lot of paint, foil, vinyl, scissors, etc. Most of these companies have sent me them out of the amazingness of their own heart. So I'm not that big of a crazy person, but it is super nice to have. And we do craft days a lot, so I've definitely made a dent in this because we made so many fun pictures with this. And then the very bottom drawer is scraps. And they are somewhat organized, even though you don't even think so. These are all stuff that I've cut out, but I didn't apply, like I have too much of them. Or um, These are little tiny scraps. There's big scraps and then adhesive scraps. So I, you like to save everything. Okay, that's my fun Ikea drawers. I do like um, the clean, clean look of the white, especially since I have a lot going on up here. Um, over here, I'm gonna sit in my chair because I'm tired. We've got my flamingos hooks that are holding my washi tape collection. Um, they're just, I found them and I didn't know what to do with them and then this ended up happening. So it's really fun on display. This is my printer, it's an HP. I bought it because it's pretty small and it's blue. Um, but it actually works really well. I'll link it up down below. And then I've got a pencil sharpener. <laughs> um, in these drawers, this is my odds and ends crap drawer. I've got like my X-Acto knife, extra glue sticks. This is one of those mats that you craft on that wipes off clean, stuff like that. Next drawer down is tools. And looks like some punches got put in here. Tools from Fiskars. I use these all the time. I'm always using my measuring tape or my pliers. Look, they sent me this. Oh, hang on, focus, Kim. I got custom ones, isn't that cool? And then this one's the punches. These are super cool. That's my most used punches. There's a lot of circles. This one's really cool though, it makes succulents. Like you punch them out and then you assemble the succulent. And then there's a couple tags in there. Love my Fiskars. This down here, Fiskars glue gun, is extra cutting board. So uh, me and my friend Mandy did a snap conference for bloggers and we had a craft room. And in that craft room, we had to keep it stocked with supplies so everybody could craft. So I ended up home with a lot of extra stuff. So I've got cutting. Look at all the scissors down there. I've got extra glue guns and stuff like that. There's like a ton of hole punches. So this is kind of like if I have a craft day, this is my drawer of stuff to pull out so there's enough for everybody to go around. And I can't even tell you what's in this. Oh, oh, I forgot this was down here. So I have a bunch of ink from Instax, or not ink, film from Instax, and then these super cool punch boards from Memory Keepers. We are memory keepers. It makes punches. So I've got a bunch of those down there. See, this is why I have to have them on display. I forgot I had those and I would have used those. Okay. This is my Monica's closet, guys. Let me span out real quick. It is not pretty. I want to make it pretty, but I just have too much crap to make it pretty. So I think it will get prettier, but right now it's just a catch-all. Um, giant printer that I hate. I can't ever get it to work ever so that's why I bought this is just like a quick if the kids need to print something and we use this all the time so next to it is I have all my paper my kids can just come in and grab typing cardstock uh, laminating sheets my laminators up there scrapbook paper um, I don't scrapbook it's just for crafting uh, fabric flamingos tie-dye extra books these are stickers more fabric, um, more fabric. I used to sew, if you go back to my craft room pictures before the fire, I had a whole huge shelf 
full of fabric. I don't sew that much. I have a good base, so if I need, like I'm gonna go sew some masks here in a minute. And so I like having, I have everything on hand for almost every color scheme, but I don't usually buy very much fabric anymore, so it does look like it's messy though. Those are rolled knits. Anyway, it's in the, it's in the crap closet, so it doesn't matter. Down here is felt. We've got paint chips. This is like chipboard, canvases, um, styrofoam. This is like a little shelf thing. Mailing stuff if I have to mail out a package. Um, there's some greenery back there. So this is just like a, I don't know where to put it. Let's just shove it in here. But I use it all the time. I just don't have a place for it. Um, back there is wallpaper and I have some umbrellas, lighting umbrellas back there. And then this is my awesome stand to hold my phone. I actually forgot to show you this stand that holds my cell phone if I'm using my hands. Like if I need a hands free, I, it spreads out. I put my cell phone in it and then I can do something down here with it. So I love it. It's called an Archon mount? Archon mount. So I love my Archon mount. Back to the closet. Sorry. Squirrel. Um, this closet holds a lot of vinyl blanks. So this are bags back here and sweatshirts. And then here I've got lots of t-shirts. In here I have, there's like a table runner and bags and I've got wood and this is full of cups. So it's just stuff to put vinyl on. I make, I make um, a lot of cut files. I do vinyl probably the majority of my blog posts are turning into vinyl and so I usually am making things and I just need to put some put it on something really quickly. Um, so that's what I'm, the majority of these actually hold. Down here is extra letter boards and then all the letters for my light boxes and my letter boards. So I'm overflowing. People have given me some, like they found, these are all the blue ones. Um, they found some or they did got rid of theirs so I'm just collecting a whole bunch. Um, this thing is full of yarn. This is my button maker. <laughs> See, I've just got a bunch of random things. This is a silk screen kit. This is the bath bomb kit. This makes friendship bracelets. I don't even know what's in there. Spanish moss. So something, I don't know. My laminator. I've got cards, my camera bag, um, extra stuffing and pillows. So some cute aprons. Like I said, it's just kind of my catch-all. It's a little bit embarrassing, but I need, I need it. So I can shut that door and no one has to know. No one has to know what a mess it is. Um, right by the door, we're almost done. I have my cute vinyl roll storage. If you saw my vinyl, you realize that this isn't even a dent in it, but I did want to put a little bit up on display. Um, I need to actually go and redo it. I spread them a little bit too far apart. I was thinking my rolls were bigger, but my rolls are all pretty small. So I just pre-drilled, glued in a dowel, and then I can just swap out and grab it as I need. Um, and last is my Ikea cart. My idea with this was that I could like fill it up and roll it out with what I need, but instead it's become a catch-all. So these are projects that I'm working on. I'm working on all the different vinyl. I'm testing all the different kinds of vinyl to see what vinyl is the best. So this is full of all different kinds of vinyl. This down here is all kids craft stuff. We've got air clay, there's big beads, um, the paintbrushes and the temper paint and crayons and slime stuff. So my kids can come and help themselves to this at any time. And then up here is scissors. We have plush Jimmy. Um, this cool, I've been, I put it here because I don't want to forget to use it. Look how cool this is, it's so heavy. It's a stamp kit from Impress Art. Um, this is something else. A silicone rubber, and then there is an epoxy resin. This get, removes heat transfer vinyl. So this is kind of the stuff that I want to do, like I bought it, I want to play around with it, so I stick it here. Um, and then hopefully I get around to it. Um, more flamingos. My friend Tanya made me this, but it ho this holds my business cards. So, another flamingo. Anyways, that is the majority of my craft room. I'm sure I will look back and realize I've missed something, but 
there's still a lot of random eye candy to look at. So I hope you enjoyed it. Just to keep it real with you guys, this is all the stuff I threw out of my craft room. That whole laundry basket is full of stuff. It's just so it could look nice in here. Usually there's a pile of crap here. You could even see where it was sitting. Pile of crap there, pile of crap there, lots of crap here. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed peeking inside my craft room. I would love if you liked this video and then make sure to subscribe to my channel.